They were Canada's favorite celebrities in and heroes in October. The Blue Jays are ready to repeat history. Let's check in with a very lucky Tanya Kim, who's down there for spring training. Thanks so much, Adam. Don't be too jealous. I've been hanging out with the boys in blue for the past couple of days, right here in the beautiful Florida sunshine. And with spring training well underway, I asked the defending AL East champions how they'll be letting the good times roll this season. How excited are you for this new season to start? Extremely excited. Uh, we did a lot of great things last year, and hopefully we can build off that momentum and you know get further into the playoffs this year by going to the World Series and hopefully getting that championship. We're excited. We got we got unfinished business that we need to take care of. We're pretty motivated and hungry and excited. Uh, we can't wait. Hungry. We are starving <laughs> for you guys to come back. Yeah. This is the this is the hard part now. Just kind of being down here for spring and getting antsy and uh, just trying to make sure we get all our work in and do everything we can to make sure we're ready to go. I understand there's a clubhouse. DJ, right? Or do you guys all kind of take turns? The official rule is that there's no clubhouse DJ, <laughs> but there's a couple of guys who commandeer it pretty regularly. And let's just say it's it's not necessarily country music. Some guys' selection is not the best, so when, yeah. <laughs> when they make a, a pretty terrible uh, selection, then we just come in and take over. I mean, it starts with Drake, obviously. I know when it's got to be hip hop, <laughs> rap. <laughs> Believer, too, so. Oh, <laughs> it's a Miley Cyrus. So. Miley Cyrus. You'll find anything on my iPod. Well, there you have it. The boys are in good shape and in good spirits as they head into the new season. I, for one, am looking for the big win this year. Let's go, Blue Jays. Woohoo! Back to you, Adam. So, so jealous, TK. Okay, moving on now to Kiefer Sutherland and Donald, Donald Sutherland, excuse me. Both are staples in the movie business, but they've never actually shared a scene together on screen. That changes with their new Western, Forsaken. Check it out. You know, we're not just asking ourselves what we've done wrong, but it filled you with so much hate. This film is very personal to me, obviously, having had the opportunity to work with my father. The duo filmed the old school Western in Alberta and premiered it together at the Toronto International Film Festival. It's, it was so beautiful to watch the two of you on screen where art is kind of imitating life, you know, father and son relationship. What was that like working with each other? It was like working with a really good actor. God is not responsible for the life you choose. I did not choose it! Terry caught up with Kiefer off the red carpet to talk about his passion project. This is really your baby, right, Kiefer? Was it working with your dad? Was it making a Western? What was the original thrust? No, the thrust was working with my father. It was something that I've wanted to do since my career began. He's made some extraordinary films. So very selfishly, I would want to work with an actor like that. And I didn't realize it till after the film was over. But that was the most time I've ever been able to spend with my dad. You know, I didn't grow up with my father. I grew up with my mom. And so the eight weeks that we were actually making this film together was the longest amount of time. Uh, that we've spent together in a row. Like, how incredibly emotional was that for you? It was really special for me, and it's, it'll be kind of one of the great fond memories of my life. Forsaken is available on digital HD today and on demand at the end of the month. And remember, as always, to get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter, at Ant City.